set of guests tonight is set to appear at the Theatre Royal Hobart as part of the Sydney Comedy Festival Roadshow, and you can catch his solo show at the Sydney Comedy Store on November 29th. I love him. Please welcome the very funny John Crookshank! <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, thanks for everything. Um, <laughs> everybody, it's good to, good to be here. I've been unwell, um, if I'm telling the truth. I've got, I got tonsillitis. Uh, yeah, it's popular. And I don't know if you've ever had tonsillitis before, right? But if you've ever had it, you know it's, like, it's serious. And you've got, to take, you've got to take medication for it, right? Antibiotics. However you, however you say it. <laughs> right, and if you've ever had to take antibiotics before, right, you know you, you can't just walk around taking them. Okay, there's rules, <laughs> and you got to follow the rules, right? And this is the rules. This is the rules of the antibiotics that I'm on, right? So you got to take one tablet every six hours, but it's got to be on an empty stomach, right? So you can't have eaten up to two hours before you have it, right, or up to half an hour after you've had it. When the fuck do you have it? <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I still haven't taken it yet. I, I, I don't know. If you get up at eight, I can't, you know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't get in the life for this. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Um, well, I can tell you, though, because uh, of my lifestyle, um, I've been getting heaps into conspiracy theories lately. <laughs> Right, yeah, yeah, but not like not 9/11 or anything like that. That's that's Westfield Food Court, right? I've <laughs> I've, I've got my own conspiracy theories that, that I've been coming up with, right? Do, do you guys do you guys want to know? Them? Yeah. yeah, sick. Finally. <laughs> so here we go, right? Conspiracy theories. Diet cordial. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just put more water in normal cordial? <laughs> That's all I got at the moment. Um, <laughs> as soon as I, as soon as I figure that out. Um, but I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to tell you about my favourite drink, right? Uh, the frozen margarita. Okay, not the pizza, but <laughs> right, the other one, the normal one, and um, frozen margarita. Oh, I hear about it, I get a bit shy. Like, oh, frozen margarita. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> I'll have, I'll have one. Um, oh, it's so good, just thinking about it. But a lot of places you can't get it. Like they wouldn't give me one here. Uh, <laughs> Before my show, so do you know what I had to do before my performance tonight? Uh, instead, I had to I had to have a shot of tequila, right, and and get a calippo, <laughs> right. That's how you do it, right. I'm the frozen margarita. It's the same autopsy, um, right. <laughs> uh, does anyone? Do you guys? Everyone knows calippo. Oh, so good. One of the best. And going further, does anyone here know who invented the Calippo? No. 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 Human beings. <laughs> right, our species came up with the Calippo. A lot of people have a lot of ill will toward the human race, but it's like, mate, why don't you sit down, have a Calippo? How are you? You know? Because <laughs> nature can't do it. Nature can't produce a calippo, right? I've seen nature, it tries. Right, have a look at Antarctica, the icicles coming off the roofs of the cave. Same shape as a calippo, shit flavour. Right, no wrapper, I wouldn't bother. And it's cone shaped, the calippo, it's conical, and it's made by human beings, right? And we make the best cone shaped food there is. Right, think about the other stuff we do, like the cornetto. Right, another good one. And think about, if you would, for a second, the way you eat a human-made cone-shaped food. Right? Well, you start at the top, don't you? The big surface area. Then you have to work your way down to the bottom. Right? And what's at the bottom of a cornetto there? 
Chocolate, exactly right. A bit of a treat. Right, a surprise. From humanity to say, thanks for taking part. Thank you very much, everyone. Shout out to my mum.